five, four, three, two, one, begin. 20 minutes, guys. Today we've got a curriculum group in from Mainstream. They're level twos. What we're hoping to achieve with that is they're, they're going to see the process that we go through to actually get to world skills or UK skills standards. What they'll be picking up on is different ways of implementing the landscaping because there are different ways to actually carry out the processes. We'll show them what we expect of them. I was with the level twos this morning. It's good to see them listening to clear instructions and then actually performing to the standards that we require. And obviously I'll take these practices back to my college and reinforce that. What we expect to see on this is we do small bite-sized exercises. So we'll do an exercise for an hour, hour and a half training. They'll then test themselves against it. Guys, you've got a minute to the 20 minute mark. Timing is a big one. What we can do is by simply dropping down the time allowance on what they're doing and actually encouraging them to beat previous times. And if they're in teams as well, compete with each other to beat, to get to achieve the best time. That's where we see the improvement and the take up in the early stages. If we feel they need the extra input on the training, we'll point that out to them. So straight away they're in competition with themselves, with each other, and we want to foster that camaraderie among the group. You've all come within the time. You've all done it the second time quicker than the first time. Very similar design to last time. Looks good. You've spaced your planting out to what you did last time. And tidy, your site's really tidy. Just however, you've got an awful lot of plants left. Why? So some, of them, some of them we brought too many over. We didn't really calculate how many we needed. Quantity over quality. If you were pricing that as a job, it's an awful lot of money set. I lecture in curriculum in landscaping and far too often we haven't got the time in one sort of encapsulated session to give them a realistic impression of what it's going to be like out there. The lecturers, let's face it, they're passionate about what they do or they wouldn't be doing it. But again, the curriculum comes in and our scheme of works comes in and far too often we think we can't do anything else. How this can work in curriculum, we can use this model to actually overlay almost like tracing paper over a curriculum delivery and underpin it as a model. What it's reliant on though is probably two things. One is the ability or the being able to adopt a more of an open aspect to what your curriculum delivery is. We all work with schemes of work. I've got a scheme of work, but it's having that confidence to know that sometimes we can crash that timetable or we can do a whole day or maybe we can do two days or we can do a week if we're really up for it and actually give them a real injection of skills. You've got 45 minutes starting now. We're making these guys employable. We want them to go out and be able to take a job on and work that job and stay with that job. As a lecturer, I need to be passionate about what I do because if I'm only giving that guy half of what he should be getting, then he might not stay in this industry for 50 years. We need to make sure that we're giving them everything we can give them. This gives them that. On top of what the curriculum gives, curriculum might give them the certificate, this underpins it and reinforces it. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of experience, you know, because I'm trying to start my own business. So I think taking it into the industry, working in private, you know, on clients' houses, you understand how much training means to go in that little bit further. I value the training that they gave me here to go into the industry because from what I had before I started this, obviously my confidence was just so low, I don't think I'd have managed at all. And I've seen guys in curriculum that have perhaps had their heads down and haven't been high achievers, suddenly realise that, yes, I can do this and this is what I can do, but I believe it's because you're allowing that time to work with it. Rather than just doing it in small bites, you need to allow the time. So colleges need to see how they can accommodate that time in worthwhile chunks, rather than just in hour and a half sessions, which, you know, time you've got them dressed and ready, we've done half an hour, we have to go back in and debrief them, it's over and you don't get their attention either. But I actually use this in curriculum at a college I teach at, and whatever I deliver, I creep this in. It comes in, and the ethos comes in. And what happens is you get a, you get a kind of a team spirit and a drive with the students, and it kind of lights, lights something underneath them, and they suddenly realise that there's more to this. It's not just a piece of paper, it's the experience they're going to get with it. Five, four, three, two, one, begin gentlemen, 20 minutes. What this shows you is there are lots of different ways of doing things. There are lots of new products out there. There are different styles that you can look at. And you get that opportunity through this process to actually broaden your horizons massively. Guys that I've had working in this um, system, I would say the majority go on to become self-employed and working for themselves very successfully or very confidently working within a business. So 
I can't perhaps quantify it in monetary terms of what the guys get out of it, but in personal skills and career achievement, it's a building block, it's a stepping stone to greater things. So a lot of young people, they aren't given the opportunity to do something. And if they're given the opportunity, you'll shine. A light goes on and they shine, and you can see that in them. And it pleases me when they come and they start to ask me questions, they start asking, well, Harry, how do we do this? What about this? Have you tried this, Harry? Have you thought about that? They start to use their brains, and they start to look at the job, and they start to work out their problem solve, and that's what we need more of. Four, three, two, one. Stop work, gentlemen. Step away from the plot. Thank you. Well done, guys.